anything to keep them relaxed. But that other group of guys who may be doing a lot more shit, I can't take them everywhere because that ain't their type of environment. And the crazy part about it though is like, uh, like on a on a per- interpersonal side of things, like because we're very like as men, we're selective. We got to make sure we have like our friend, our peer group, our friends. Friends are like an army. You know what I'm saying? You got your uh, your front line. You got your you got your infantry. You got your people that work in the back and they do uh, they do analytics. You know what I'm saying? Everybody plays a role. Yeah. So that's why it's like it's imperative to kind of like have that same type of discernment when you you know what I'm saying when you move in and you, you know what I'm saying especially in modern times, bro. Because most most I see like a lot of people don't have like they so open to like. Uh, they, I guess the idea is not to be judgmental or whatever, but I feel like the biggest thing that, that that saved my life and saved the lives of a lot of people that I love is being judgmental, being a little bit more discerning. You know what I'm saying? Realizing that not everybody deserves access to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's a big cool. thing too. That's a very big thing. Like, yeah, he cool or she cool, but I don't fuck with them like that. I don't fuck with them like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that we we have interactions. We not friends. I don't. I wouldn't consider them a friend because I don't. I haven't. I would the shit. The type of shit that we would go through together would not make our bond tighter. You see what I'm saying? And that's really the element that really makes it all come together. When, and, when- and and for me, what you said there is the reason why certain people stop fucking with me at a certain point. It was like, yo, you don't fuck with that person or that person. I was like, they don't mesh well with the, the shit that I'm trying to do. Right. So I can't, look, if we gonna chill on the stoop and we gonna smoke and drink and have a good time, like I, I know where to go for that. Yep. I know the, who, who who house to go over or who mama's house to go hang out at, right. uh, if that's some shit that we gonna go do. But outside of that, like there is, and it's not to say that they don't value, but there is nothing else for me to do with that group of people. So. I can't take them around six and we we talk about you know life or we talk about uh 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 been in in a, in a in a fourth century and shit like that like i can't they're not gonna be interested in that they're gonna be ready to go they're gonna be ready to light up another blunt or something like i can't i can't well, have them around that, that. Hey, exactly nigga, all, that, all that old shit like and which is okay if that's, that's fine way. yeah that's, that's a, fine that's a, but there's a there's a place for that type of shit so yep. so when I am out, I know again, we know where these people fit. What 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 level what layer in my circle or in your circle, we know where these people fit. There's a there's a thick, there's a thick core and there's outer layers to the circle. It's just like the earth. There's all these different layers of people. Like and everybody on the outside is just part of a network until it gets to the inside. And you get to the inner core. circle. Your inner yeah. circle is the part that's your brain trust. You know what I'm saying? Those are the people that, you know what I'm saying? You know, they got your best interests. You got their best interests. You, you know what I'm saying? There's absolute trust there. There's, there's something there that can't be replaced and it speaks for itself. You don't Absolutely. have to make, you know, you never got to make excuses for these people. You know what I'm saying? They always solid. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's more family. It's a more of a family structure there than it is as a, a, a peer group. Yep. And, and I don't, and it's rarity. It's a rarity that I have to question anything they do. I just ride along with it and when there is a conversation to be had, we mm-hmm. will have it outside of prying eyes and ears and away from the public and we'll discuss something going wrong between us. It won't be in your face. It might be off to the side somewhere in the car when we get back to the hotel, my place, they place, or whatever it is. But that's how that's how these circles go. I mean, we've been doing it all our life, right? Each each one of us, or some of us have. Right. You know, you, you know your friends by the people that you invite into your house and into your home. Yeah, absolutely. And that's something you kind of like. It, and I think that's a big thing. Like, how how were you raised? Uh, who who taught you? Because discernment is something that's kind of taught. Like, because as children, children are open to uh, almost anybody until they get their feelings hurt. You know what I'm saying? You know how, how it is you're in kindergarten and you're just sharing toys and then you got that one kid that picks on everybody. Yeah. And you, and you decide, I'm not going to let this motherfucker pick on me. That's your first time actually having an adversary. You see what I'm saying? So like when you when you get older and you start being around more mature people who can actually help shape these and develop these skills of actual discernment, you start learning how to how to allow what to do to allow certain access, how to create access codes per se. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody don't get access to six. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta go, you gotta know somebody that know somebody to know me. You see what I'm saying? Everybody don't get access to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a private person. You know what I'm saying? If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. 
You see what I'm saying? And that's Absolutely. always and that's always been my thing. It's never one of those situations where like, hey, let's go to Six Crib. He got the smoke house. He got the drink house. He got the music going. It ain't never that. You know what I'm saying? Mainly because why I had a family at home. I got you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm, I'm the provider and protector of mine. Absolutely. You know Absolutely. What I'm saying? And you're a representative, so you can't just have anybody showing up and your kids seeing that too, because that sends that sends messages. Yep. And it, and it it raises questions that don't even necessarily need to have a conversation attached to it. Absolutely. If because if I was to walk in there and see a bunch of Negroes or fools, whatever it may be, walking around there just doing what they're doing, I'm like, yo, my man, you good? I'm gonna right. talk to you just like that. Yo, you good? But who are all these people is in here? Word. Why 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 you got all these people in here? The kids here? Like yeah, they upstairs. Oh no 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 no, they they gotta go, bro. The kids gotta go or they gotta go. You can't do you can't do both. Not when they in here like acting like that. Real shit. And yeah. we gonna have that conversation. It ain't gonna be threatening. I ain't no. gonna raise my voice because as men we know we not raising our voice because we know what level we know what's being said when that type of shit happening. I can have a conversation with six without raising my voice unless we're talking and we're being competitive. I don't, I don't have to raise my voice. I can tell that right. man, yo, what I like, I don't see. And and, and it's going to be received with 100% respect because I know who it's coming from and I know yeah. it's coming from a place of love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the thing. Like, we don't, I don't see a lot of people being able to have those types of relationships with people nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Everything is competitive. Everybody feels like somebody's trying to get over on them or somebody's trying to get take advantage of them. And that's not necessarily the case. But because they don't have the same type of background in uh, developing those again the checklist everybody got a checklist bro you know what i'm saying everybody but whether or not they acknowledge and and, and respect the the criteria that's set on, on their own personal checklist you're gonna have these scenarios where motherfuckers don't respect each other's opinions you're gonna have situations where people just allow anybody everybody who's a good time motherfucker in a circle you know what i'm saying oh. like everybody always man you could i could tell i could i could post on on, on instagram that i'm having a house party and all anybody who's within fucking 100 miles up if i make it if i sell it everybody will show up and guess what most of the motherfuckers who show up i don't know yep you don't really fuck with like that exactly and anybody i truly fuck with gonna be hitting me up in the inbox like what the fuck you doing what's going on i'll Ask talk to you i'll talk to you after the party fam. enjoy you dig what i'm saying it's just about that discernment having that that level of maturity and, and, and being able to actually uh, ascertain the information the way it should be. You know what I'm saying? Take the information and, 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 and build something from it. Deconstruct it. Put it back together. Find out whether or not it's valuable. 